you guys welcome back to another video in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get some really good colour settings for Valorant if you've ever seen anyone with their game looking really vibrant like this Spike down a. Last you really want to Three gone. Uh. One enemy remaining. Oh, oh my nice. fucking god. Up down one. Then you probably wondered how they do it, so today I'm gonna show you how they do it. Right, so I'm quickly gonna show you some clips of me getting some kills using these settings I'm about to show you. Right, so I'm going to be showing you two ways that you can change the colour settings of your Valorant. So I'll show you the first one. For both of them, you'll need a NVIDIA graphics card. I'm not sure if there is a way if you have an AMD one. The first way is by going onto your desktop, right click, go on the NVIDIA control panel, and it should up this so what you do is you go to adjust desktop color settings and here where it says digital vibrance you just turn that up as much as you want i don't know if it shows on the recording but it changes it i wouldn't really recommend having it at 100 percent but you can if you want to personally i don't use it in this way because if you're doing anything else apart from playing the game it messes up the colours and can sometimes look weird if you're working on something else that isn't playing Valorant so I tend to use the second method which is only applied in the game but it launches every single time you launch the game so once you set the settings you won't have to change them if you haven't already please like and subscribe because only 1.9% of you are actually subscribed so please subscribe help me out I'm trying to get to 1k subscribers before the end of the year and drop a like and subscribing would really help out the channel and enjoy the video Alright, so I'm going to show you how to do the second method now. So, first of all, you go on to GeForce Experience. Some of you might not have this enabled, so you'll have to do it first. Alright, so yours might need to update like mine just did, but... So what you do is you go to Settings and some General and apply this thing called In-Game Overlay. You just click it so it goes green. Alright, so... Now I'm going to show you how to apply these settings. So simply press Alt Z. You should bring up this, and you click on Game Filters. Right, you can either copy the settings I have right here to get your game looking the same as mine, or you can mess around with it and get the ones that you like. So first of all, I have a tint color on 20%, tint intensity at 30%, temperature at 0 and vibrance at around 80% and then if you go to details I have sharpen on 50%, clarity on 70%, HDR toning at 60% and bloom at 15 so if you're wondering how you add these you just press the add on the add filters if you're wondering how you add a filter simply go to the bit where it says add filters click it and then you find whichever bit you want to add such as sharpen and you can go here and make it whatever you want it to be 
and then if you want to move them around simply press these arrows if you want to delete it press the X but sometimes it can change the look of the game if you switch them around so do it whichever way you want or you can just copy what I have mine at overall since I started using these settings I think I've started playing a lot better than I used to so please use them if you want to try and get better in the game they do help trust me I've been using them for two weeks and I've seen an improvement in gameplay alright thank you so much for watching the video if you did enjoy it then please like and subscribe if you found this video useful then comment down below any other suggestions for videos just comment them down below as well and I will see you in the next video. Peace.